think you guys get it. I don't care your level. I don't care who you are. I don't care what level you're at because I don't think you get it. Your level, your level of self-investment is the only true depiction, outward depiction of your self-worth. The amount that you invest in self to be where you want to be is the only transparency that others have of how much you value yourself. So let's look at it on the other hand. Self-sabotage. The, at the degree that you self-sabotage is how much we know you don't value yourself. So the level at which you invest in yourself is the only true depiction of self-worth and self-love and the only truth about how much you truly value yourself is linked to the degree at which you self-sabotage. So you can just look at anyone and see how confident they really are. See who they really are. See where they're really going. You guys, if you're self-sabotaging, this is how you turn it around. The momentum you build by doing the work instills worth in you. When you feel worth it, when you feel worthy, you won't self-sabotage as much. I do so much work to be where I want to be that I never even consider self-sabotaging. I know I'm worth it. That's the only reason I got where I'm at so fast is because I took no back steps. You guys take back steps because subconsciously, sometimes you feel like you don't deserve it. And that's only due to the lack of work that you put in. Those breaks, those gaps, that fucking stupid ass shit people call Balance makes me fucking sick. There is no balance if you're trying to be a way above average motherfucker. If you're trying to be that 1% motherfucker. There's no such thing as that. There's no such thing as balance. Balance is attached to being average. Average people say that. This is the facts. When you have a vision for yourself. Of you at your highest potential. And everything you could be. Do you think that's you? I don't think it's me. I think that's a vision supplied to me from above that if I adhere to that vision and all the work it takes to create it and I don't smack our creator in the face by saying, nah, I don't feel like doing that today. I just say, hey, you know what's best for me? I'm going to do it. You gave me this vision. I did the work on this plane to figure out how to pull that vision off. And if I decide not to do the work, then I'm smacking you in the face, telling you that you don't fucking know what's best for me when I know you do. So here I am, but not believing that our vision is of our choosing. It's the only ordained path that we can walk in this life. So I don't even doubt it. I just do everything that has to be done to create it. And I don't listen to anybody down here. I report only above. There's this vision of where I'm going and I have to do the work because you guys don't get it. When you choose not to walk that path of creating your vision, you're punished. You're punished with karmic debt by not doing the work. People think karmic debt only comes from immoral acts or negative acts. No, no, no. There's a massive punishment taking place to all of you guys who choose not to create that optimal life, that grand vision of yourself. It's called mediocrity. Your mediocre life is stealing moments from you every second. You're dreaming of what could be instead of creating. You're not manifesting your vision. You're failing to do the work and then you're hoping that the scales tip in your favor. So most of your moments aren't lived very present. You're not in the present. You're wishing, you're hoping, you're desiring different set of circumstances. Where I'm at in life right now, I couldn't even desire a different set of circumstances. I created by my design the exact life that I love. Every part of it. There's not one part that I look at and say, oh, I wish that was better. I wish that was better. I know they're all elevating, but right now I'm completely happily dissatisfied. 
dissatisfied because the vision is calling me to do bigger, more, 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 affect more people, get on bigger stages, get your message out to more people, work with more people, change people in a bigger way, heal them across the board, physically, financially, mentally, spiritually, show them their path, give them what you've been granted. I've been granted complete clarity. Conscious congruency turns confusion to clarity. And I've been granted complete clarity in my life. I know exactly what I'm doing. I know my exact purpose. I won't listen to anybody. I only report above. As soon as you start doing that, everything below will be taken care of. But you're not, you're reporting to you. As soon as you're on you and not on your purpose, that's where everything goes to shit. You guys don't fucking get it. You're transparent as fuck. We're watching you serve you. And then you're looking above saying, What's happening? You're serving you, bitch. You're not an advocate below doing the work of above. Do you get what I'm saying? The truth, living the truth, dropping all the negative habits that deter people from their best quality of life, which is complete adherence above. How do you know you're adhering to above? I mean, regret. Regret's your guideline. When you ate that pizza, you regretted it. You're not going to be creating that attractive advocate that can push the message that's in your heart and soul that we all resonate with. That drink. You're not going to have the energy, the truth, and the congruency, the alignment of a man who can look someone in the eyes and say, I know the way. Follow me. You're fucking up. Everything's a doubt at that point. All these things, all these vices got to go. Then you just follow that voice in your heart that's telling you what to become. I'm telling you where to look, not what to see. So you don't have to grow a beard, be jacked and get a bunch of tattoos and buy all these fucking cars and all this shit. This is just what I see. So maybe I'm just being guided to get to a certain group of people. And there's another group of people for you because... You like fishing and outdoor stuff, but you do knew, know when you went out hunting and fishing and doing your outdoor stuff that when you were drunk and we were hungry, it wasn't right. It's just better when you did it right. It just matters you. I'm not telling you the best of teachers, the highest of advocates won't tell you what to see. They'll show you where to look. I'm just telling you to be honest. I'm just telling you to be fucking honest and report above because you guys are transparent as fuck. You're self-sabotaging because you're off your path. You're on you and not on your purpose. Love you guys. I'm going to be here. It's a great fucking day. Don't let anything pull you away from your purpose today. And when you feel that sting that you know you're fucking up, look at that act that took place or that thought you had or that energy you were releasing and, and understand that that's the precursor to the feeling inside. Any negative notification inside is just simply speaking to you. Love you guys. Let's go.